Hello, in this video I will show you how to create and set up a camera for rendering. I have this example seen here and let's say I want to render this cube and also this cylinder. I can press Shift A camera and a camera is now added to my scene. I can move it using the G key as grab. This works for every object in Blender. The camera is uh, at this angle by default, you can press the N key or click on this arrow on the top right corner to open the side panel. Under item, we have rotation, we can set it to zero for everything and now it's uh, position like this. We can rotate it using this axis, so I will rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, I will also rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis and now it is perfectly straight. When you only have one camera in your scene it will become the default render camera. So if you press the zero key on your namepad we are now into the camera view mode. If you have a camera selected you can still move it using the G key and maybe lock it on one particular axis like the Y axis or you can use the side panel like we did before. So I will now position it to render only my cube. I move it on the Z axis. I will also rotate it on the Y axis. So R key Y. Then we can go to the camera properties here and we can increase the focal length. So we we can zoom in on our cube. This square is your camera view. Only this area will be rendered, not what you have outside of it. This first camera is now ready. Let's say I want to create another camera and focus on this cylinder. I can duplicate this camera here or I can create another camera. Let's create another camera and I will move it here on the z-axis upward. I press the zero key on the namepad, but if you notice, Blender will recognize our first camera as the default one. To look through the second camera, we must select it, go to the view, menu, cameras, set active object as camera. This will make the camera our default one, so Every time we press the zero key on the namepad, we can now look through it. When we are ready to render, Blender will render out our active camera. In this case, our second one. Hit the render button, F12. It will render with our second camera. So you must always remember to make the active camera the one you want to render with. So if I want to render the cube in this case, I will select this first camera and then go to the view menu, camera, set of active object as camera and then render. The resolution of a camera is based on the resolution written here. So if I, for example, look through my first camera and start decreasing the resolution, you will notice that my view will shrink or enlarge based on the resolution because this is the format right now i'm using a 16 by 9 format so widescreen but if i go for example with a 4 by 3 it will be almost a square if i go with a 8k resolution this is a custom resolution that i set up myself it will still be a wide screen mode Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, leave a like to support the channel, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you in the next one.